Very beautiful people over there, little mouse, and she's sleepy. We well, you know you're not over here looking at mouse. We're here looking at uh, Patrick's baby things. And the biggest item I have for Patrick's was his little pack and play. What, what do you want? With his pack and play. And uh, anyway, I just set up over here for the cats. My friend Diana sent me this. I got down in there for the cats. Oh, here it comes. Anyway, I bought these two off eBay. See how nice they are. And uh, when I went uh, to Virginia, I realized I have my grandmother gave me one in pink, so now I got a yellow one I bought off eBay and one dressed in pink. Ain't that cute? I also have another cat. It's not the same one. It's this one, see? Hey, 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 hey. So now I've got two little girls and two cats. Uh-huh. There. There's my baby, Salem. Mr. Salem. He's a baby. Very beautiful people. We're back. Here today we have Patrick's little things. I was keeping them in a Ziploc baggie. But, uh, let's look at his little things. Uh, when he was first born, I had them, uh, save his core blood. And I didn't, like, uh, you know, save it for my own personal use in the future. I donated it. Uh, it's, uh, when I was pregnant, I read an uh, article about uh, core blood treating childhood illnesses. They were going to do some research on it. Anyway, as soon as he was born, uh, I had the kit they sent me in the mail, and the doctor pulled the blood out of the cord into uh, some uh, tubes. And uh, as a thank you, they sent me this world's cutest uh, core blood donor. And then it's the name of the organizations. I think it says Caro Banks International. And it's got a phone number. It's probably not the right phone number anymore, but there it is. He didn't wear it, by the way. Uh, I remember them uh, wheeling me up to recovery and handing me the box with the blood and I was like, aren't y'all going to store it? And they told me no. And then I had to call the 800 number and tell them to come pick it up. I was worried. <laughs> There's a thing of blood inside the bed. And uh, it took a while to come get that. But eventually they sent a uh, courier to come get it and they taped it up and they had me sign and they took it and I was like, <laughs> anyway, anyway um, he went off to the nursery after he was born, and the uh, next thing I know, he they came back and he had this nice little knitted crochet type hat on, which I didn't make, but he, he had it. I guess he gangster styled it out to somebody back there in the nursery. Uh, I asked where it came from, the shift nurse said that she didn't know that one minute he had on a regular cap like the rest of them, and the next minute he had on this nice one. She thought I'd put it on him. I didn't put it on. I was thinking, did they take my baby to the wrong room? Things that happen in a hospital. Because I wasn't breastfeeding or chest feeding. I, I skipped that 2 a.m feeding and he came back at 5 a.m. with this nice hat which nobody could explain where it came from. Anyway, let's move on. And then uh, he's coming home from the hospital outfit and uh, a cute little like uh, oatmeal color long sleeve top like a little puppy little brown puppy with blue ears and it says hugs underneath it so cute oh I love hugs I love hugs 
This is zero to three months size. See this in the street. We wore that all to the hospital with these little pants. These little blue jean pants he had that went with this. And then I went for my appointment over at the uh, doctor's office and they gave me this little onesie it says Johnson Memorial Hospital. Isn't it cute? Got the bears. Of course, he wore it. You can see it's got milk stains, four milk stains on it. Oh, that one's real cute. And then at Christmas, his first Christmas, we had Christmas pictures done, I think, at Walmart. You can see it's still got milk stains around the neck here. Anyway. Uh, That's so you could tell he actually wore it. A blue gray type top with a cream bottom and it's got little moose. I thought it was like a t shirt in my size. A reindeer like totally and Christmas trees. Maybe a reindeer. I, think oh, I, I really like that color block look. It's George's three to six months. And it has like little like mooses on it. Okay. It had a big, it had a moose. Or I think it's deer anyway. On the sleeve there. That's what he just he didn't wear any pants to his Christmas people or was these fat chops. These little fat thighs or <laughs> he just had some socks on. And then uh he had a uh Christmas sleeper and it's a this dark um green. It's like a forest green. And it says precious things come in small packages embroidered in like a gold thread. It's got a Santa Claus bear and some Christmas decorational stock and some candy canes. It's like a waffle cut material. And it's a uh, medium three to six months because he was a chunky fella. Simply basic. And it came with this uh, matching hat too. A little hat. That's what he wore in the first Christmas. So you have the fancy dress. He just did sleeper. Uh, my mom, his Nana, gave him some uh, little bear booties. He was fascinated on Christmas. This is probably his favorite thing. Grabbing his feet up and looking at the bear booties. Trying to stick his feet in his mouth. Anyway, they're up chocolate brown like a tan at the top well, I don't see anything that indicates size on them it's just extra large made in China it doesn't say anything about brand that probably came from Walmart Nothing else. Anyway, little bear booties. And like I said, I didn't really keep a lot of his stuff. So the last piece of clothing, or clothing, we have this. Virginia, oh, sorry, sorry, Virginia Tech, Tennessee, Tennessee Volunteers, All Stars, that bright orange Tennessee color. Patrick, you should really like the color orange. It's a onesie. Type thing. I like the orange just to be his favorite color. And I have uh, red oak. And this is a uh, six to nine months. He uh, wore this to get his picture done at Walmart one time, I think. Which I wasn't happy about the way the pictures turned out. I mean, they didn't get up close enough to him or something. This cat, I don't know if that was. I don't know if it was mine or if it's Patrick's. I think originally it was mine. 
kind of on a box of candy, like a Russell Stoker, I believe. Mm. Anyway, the candy doll, I love the color, it's cute. It is cute. So we have a uh, sunshine baby rattle. My mom said I put it on my, around my, my, she put it on my ankle. Whereas, uh, at one point we just started putting it around the cat's neck. So the cat will work. Oh my god, that's so cute. You're like. It's the cutest thing I've seen all day. Anyway. So. And here's his little shoes. Some of them I'm totally wear if they're my size. Then we have shoes. We got his first pair of shoes. Those are really nice. I'd wear those. They're, they're a mushroom color. And they're my kids. Why are all the cute shoes baby size? I don't know what size they are. I, I, like, I swear, like all the good shoes are like too, are, are always too small. Number so, one. Too cute, too small. See that one on the bottom? Anyway, this was his pair, first pair of shoes. So cute. And then he, he had these pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. And she didn't wear them too much because they're kind of heavy. They're uh, two and a half. And they're so he, he didn't really wear shoes. And uh, then he had his sandals. Also my kids. And then he started started walking. He started walking. And I noticed that he was falling over his feet because one of his, his left leg turned in. Because when he was in the womb, he had his left leg up to his face and was stuck in that position for months. Or he wouldn't move out of that position. I assume he was stuck there. So when uh, he was born, his leg turned in. I took him to the doctor about that. And I took him to the doctor first time to see a specialist about his leg, and the doctor said that they thought that the leg was straightened out by itself. And I was like, oh, okay, that sounds logical. You know, it would eventually straighten. And I took him back the second time. And the doctor I seen the first time had it went to a different office, different practice, and a new doctor taking the place. And this diet guy was like a snippy, and I'd already been waiting there hours. And the baby was fussy, and he wanted the baby to walk across the room, which I had him do a couple times. We walked back one side of the other side a couple times, and he put him up on the table, and then he <laughs> said something terribly stupid. Like he'd only been looking at him like five, literally like five minutes. And he says, well, I think we should break his leg <laughs> And put it into a cast and then set it back straight and I was like I don't I don't think so <laughs> so uh, I think I'll wait and see how it goes if necessary I'll bring him to a different doctor for a second opinion we're not breaking his leg and the doctor's like oh I didn't mean we're gonna break it right now it's like we're not breaking his leg at all in fact that's not what the doctor that saw him previously said and you've only looked at him 10 minutes and you've already decided you're going to break his leg. I don't think so. <laughs> Needless to say, we didn't go back to that office and his leg did eventually straighten out. But in the meantime, he had some little um, leather moccasins type shoes that I bought. So uh, he, he could walk like bare, be like more like a barefoot feel for him. And he could have more of a, a better feel for him. Way his leg was positioned, he wasn't tripping over his foot. So uh, he had a little moccasins, little leather moccasins. You can see where his little toes were. That's <laughs> cute, right? Yeah. When he had worn the the um, leather had to conform to his foot. And this was a size of 12 to 18 months. So 12 to 18 months, and then he he. he they felt like they were tied across the top of his foot. So I just went back on the website and ordered a bigger size. I think they were 18 to 22 months, or 24 months, 18. Same shoe, same shoe, just bigger size. <laughs> same thing, you can see where his little toes were in there. And his little foot. That's so cute. Now he wore these until he outgrew them. And at that point, uh, his leg is straightened out. The pediatrician said that he had no uh, longer concern about his leg. 
and then hit start and get beautifully and everything's fine. And we have bag shoes. We have bag of pacifiers and all that. And at some point he has a toddler, he had this nice hat before I came out of the corner machine. The race car red hat, he used to wear that. Wear that. He wear it like he was a big man. He's put his hand on his hip. We got a uh, we got a bag of random things here. Mostly passing cars. There's blue We got a poo poo rattle. pair of scissors that they, that my grandmother gave me that came even they're so rust I can hardly open them. Anyway. I just kept all the kids' pacifiers in here and there's one that's Randy's. Now I don't know which one was was uh, the middle kid or the youngest kid because they used the same type pacifier and it was often the same color. So they're all nasty I know. But they're either 20, 21, or tw 19 years old. Almost 21, almost 19. So, you know, I probably should scrub them anyway. There's Blue's Clues clips. Anyway, they had, we had a variety of them. Blue ones and purple and green ones, yellow and blue. I don't know which one. When I was younger, I probably could have told you which pacifier went to what kid, but now they all look the same to me. We had a fast fire cliffs head. Got this one. Clouds clown. are creepy. Cl creepy clown. We had a little bear one. Now this one cracked. I don't know what happened to it, but it cracked. At the top, see? It's got cracked. I pretty respond to the Blue's Clues ones. Then we had a, a poo bear. Hey, Mama said that one's my favorite as a kid. Uh -huh, poo bear. And then and there's we, two uh, blues, 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 and we had a uh, little Susie Z, too. This one has a bell crack. We just put it through the hook, a handle. And, uh, and plug it in. And clip it to your shirt. Anyway. Some of them are more friendly to use than others. So that's our little pacifier collection. Now, I've got a picture here. Let's see what it is. Oh, cute kids. How cute. Uh, there's all three of my kids together. There's Patrick with all his fat lip where he sucks his lip. There's the oldest one. The oldest one is uh, 13 years older than the youngest one. And the, the two little ones have the same birthday, just two years apart. Ain't that weird? Mom kept saying that he was my birthday present. Suck it up, man. I don't know why you can't appreciate what I've done for you. I gave you a little brother. I didn't want huh? that. There, aren't they sweet? Sweet little youngins that turn into little devils. Oh yeah, Patrick's basically the devil now. Oh, so much you. <laughs> oh, love this one. Aww, that's so sweet. Look how cute. Aww. 
There you are. I think that's about it with the pictures. You gotta put the stuff away. Oh. Hefty, hefty, somebody's baby tasting. I can't get the jar open. Anyway, it's a, his baby jar of milk that they sent home from the hospital. Good start, Carnation. Good start. And it has uh, some of his baby teeth are in the bottom here. Mom kept some of my teeth too. They're in there. I can't get it open. Nope. <laughs> I didn't open it. We got his little uh, hospital bracelet. I don't know what happened to the middle kid's bracelet. I looked and looked. I can't find it. I think they kept it. I think they cut it off because that kid was in the Nick unit. Anyway. Wait a minute. Okay. There's a boy. <sighs> of course, they, they put matching numbers on me. I remember when they brought him in the hospital for the first time. And I thought, the first two babies they have are really pretty. And then they brought him in and I thought, oh, he looks funny looking. Not, he didn't, I didn't say he looked ugly. I'm just saying he was funny looking. He was fun, funny looking, questionable. Like, uh, I thought he looked like a Keebler elf the way his ears were poking out the side, little cap, little cap pointed ears like Spike. Anyway, and he didn't have much hair, and uh, y'all were like fat cheeks, were fat cheeks, and I was like, you don't look like the first two, but they were really pretty, long, thick hair, and I was like, they said they made the wrong baby, and I remember <laughs> the nurse leaving, and I checked the number ID on the bracelets, and they matched, and I was like, Yes, it is my baby. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't exactly love at first sight. I could, I could tell you that. I was like, hmm. I don't like. I think they made a mistake on a nurse. This don't look like. This don't look like my baby. <laughs> so when I had this section, C-section, they just gave me like a little brief glance and just covered and all that. Like cottage cheesy stuff. They was like, when they flipped him up, and they were going to take him on up to the nurse real quick to give him a little oxygen because he was born blue. He was blue. <laughs> he was blue when he was born. Because, uh, this is the bad part. That Dr. Levine is pulling him out. And at one point, I hear Dr. Levine go, Put him back in, put him back in. I'm like, What? Why are you putting him back in? Don't put him in. Put him, pull him out. Put him. Out. He's like, no. Uh, we pull him out now. We're going to dislocate his hip because, like I said, his foot was in his face. So they literally shoved him back in. The doctor maneuvered around him to move his leg down, and then they pulled him back out. I was like, talk about rough treatment. Huh? Boy, two or three days later, after the numbness. Was I really felt that. I was like, <laughs> of course they tried to tell me that it was just where I had my tubes done too. And I was like, oh, okay. It cut off because I was right out of memory again. So like I said, they were trying to tell me it was where I had my, my tubes cut. And I was like, he's like, mm. so you're trying to tell me it's, I'm, I'm more sore the second time I had a C-section than the first time. Only because I have a, a tuple allegation. Not the fact that y'all pulled the baby half out, shoved the baby back in, and then manipulated it around and pulled it out. Like, you know, that like, sounds painful. They kind of answer the same scar as the first time, I think. So, so I just have the one scar. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff never goes back. I don't know how Hollywood does it. I think they just. Yeah. That and if I had a personal trainer and dietitian come to my house and then that I might look good to you, you know what I'm saying? But uh, 
I don't have that kind of money, so. Yeah, Patrick keeps bug bothering us about like that sort of stuff. But anyways, y'all got any trauma stories from the delivery room? Put it back in. That's what the doctor told the nurses. We're gonna put it back in. I was like, put him in, nothing. Take him out. Take him out. And the doctor's like, we take him out now. With his foot in his face, we're gonna dislocate his hip. We're gonna put him in, and then we're gonna pull him, turn him, turn him, and then maneuver his leg, but down. Yeah, it sounds easy in theory. <laughs> Your insides are manipulated around. <laughs> it's a whole different ball game, I'll tell you that. Anyway, this is Callie with Callie's room where he boards cats and nonsense. And uh, I, I didn't keep as much stuff in the third one as I did the first one. I guess it's, he's lucky I got anything kept at all because by then I was just like so over the. Uh, I was like running out of space really because you know you don't want to keep all this stuff where you're going to store it uh, I don't know what the pacifier is I'm sure at one point I remember what pacifier went to what baby but those days are long gone past and now I'm just storing them all together I'm sure if I had like a memory box I would like go back and look at pictures or something yeah, this, this, this kid probably had this past part and some of this stuff. Um, uh, so, uh, so uh, how's y'all beautiful day going? To get ready to come some severe thunderstorms here today. I need to go to Walmart, but I just couldn't bring myself to go. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to go either. I didn't have an assistant to go to keep me out of trouble. So I, I decided to uh, change the sheet on my bed. Put myself some clean pajamas on. I need to wash my bed and see. Every few days. Because the cat's got fleas. Maybe in a few days. Meaning whenever you get the energy to come in there and strip it down and wash it bring it back then it will get done but until then you know it ain't gonna get done I found a little picture of uh, one of the kids oh what is it? I had a locket I don't know what happened to the locket it Sorry. broke I guess it got thrown away my mom when she cleaned out my house I guess she threw it away I didn't see it I don't know what happened to it. I think I had like in a, a Ziploc baggie. I was going to take it and have it fixed. But, uh, like I said, my mom probably just dumped it in the trash, thought it was trash or something. Yeah, there's another one. They had a little picture there of the kids with a little locket. There's one underneath it here. Oh, look how cute it was. Uh -uh. There we go. Anyway, there's a picture again of the three kids. I was trying to figure out how to get the camera to focus. <laughs> but anyway, enjoy your uh, Monday, beautiful people. I will work on my grocery list. That's what I was doing, working on my grocery list. I bought some stuff at Sam's Club, but obviously I didn't buy everything. Sometimes I can't even read my own writing. Y'all ever do that? <laughs> you can't read your own writing. You're like, oh, I don't know what I'm trying to play. Uh, I had to renew my driver's license. I forgot what the password, so I had to redo that. And uh, I put the password over here. I'm gonna put it in my little notebook if I don't forget. Whenever, whenever I log in again, like next year when my tabs come back up again, I'll be like, what's the password? 
Anyway, I'll catch you beautiful people back here another day. I just love these shoes. I was thinking about putting this on one of the babies at Christmas because, you know, it, it still looks halfway decent. It's not so stained up as I keep the hat. But I don't know. It does say three to six months. I don't know if I, they'll fit. Uh, probably the only thing fit would be this. They wrote a three little doggy with the pants. Cause like I said, I didn't keep it much in the show. I did make him wear hand-me-downs from this, this kid over here. So we get, do have... Uh, more items that he wore that they both wore nothing else specifically for him but he doesn't really care because you know he doesn't have attachment to things that he wore in the past because he's just that's just not how he rolls he wouldn't care if i threw it away he doesn't have that sentimental attachment or won't need to keep things or it's just me I think it's genetic. On huh? 23 and me, it said I had like two, two out of three chromosomes or something that uh, keep you. Oh, they make you like hoard stuff. Hoarding tendency, where you keep things that are, are no longer useful, but you can't I seem to it. throw them away. I have that problem. Or I give them away. Like I can't get rid of this shirt. They surely they can't be talking about me holding these little leather moccasin shoes that I bought for my kid that he obviously can't wear anymore because he was like a year to 18 months and like 18 months to two years and I kept both pair because they were cute. I mean come on they're little brown kitty cats and they have his little footprint on the bottom. So adorable right? Anyway <laughs> I can't be the only one. Bye.